अखंड मंडल आकार चराचर तत्म दर्शित तस्म श्री गुरव नम अज्ञानतिरांध्रसानाजनशलाकया चक्षुन्मील तस्म श्री गुरव नम from last few sessions we have uh, come to know the thought process of our ancestors about our surroundings that is physics let us from this session we will have uh, another branch of science that is life science Let's, let us take first the plant life so how did they classify plants so charaka has uh, plants according to are divisible into four groups vanaspatis trees bearing fruit without flowers vanaspatiyas trees bearing flowers as well as fruits aushadhis herbs that wither after fruit fructification and virudhas other herbs with spreading stems chakrapani the commentator notes in his commentary on charaka has uh, said that virudhas comprise two classes latas creepers and gulmas herbs with the uh, succulent stems and shrubs the aushadhis are subdivided into annuals or perennials bearing fruit plants that wither away after maturing and without fructification example grasses like durva etc sushrutas division is identical with charaka dalvana the commentator gives some he gives some details the flux plaksha and the udumbara are given as instances of trees bearing fruits without flowers that is vanaspatis it appears that plants with the uh, naked and incomplete flowers were considered as flowerless as also trees whose flowers like those of fig etc are placed in on the internal walls of a common receptacle of rukshas flower and fruit bearing trees the mango trees the jambu tree etc are given as examples for virudhas are of two classes one is creepers with stems spreading on the ground pratanavatya and herbs with succulent stems gulminaha aushadhis are those that wither away after fructification example wheat barley etc some divide aushadhis into two classes those that wither after bearing fruit example paid paddy linseed pulses etc plants that wither after maturity and bear neither flowers nor fruits example mushroom etc prashasta pada the vaisheshika a school classifies plants as follows trinas grasses aushadhis herbs that wither after fructification latas spreading and creeping herbs avatanas arboraceous plants and shrubs rikshas trees bearing flowers and fruits and vanaspatis trees bearing fruits without flowers shridhara in kandali gives gulapa as an example of a grass wheat as an example of aushadhi annual and ketaki and uh, vijapura uh, as examples of avatanas vitapas uh, arboraceous plants the kovidara as an example of flowers and fruit bearing tree and udumbara 
I, as an example of a Vanaspati, flowerless fruit bearing tree. Udayana in Kiranavali eh, notes of Kushmanda uh, as an instance of creeper, Lata, and the palms, Tala Dayaha, as modification of grasses, that is Trinas. Amarakosha, the lexicographer in the Vanaushadhi Varga and Vaishya Varga gives some interesting particulars. The trees, uh, flowering rikshas and the flowerless vanaspatis are fruit bearing and possess woody stems. Kashtadha, Kashtadharu are trunks. Prakanda, Prakanda skandhaha, Syan Mulat Shakha Vistaraha. Next comes arboraceous plants and shrubs. Kshupa, Kraswa Shakha Di Shipaha, Kshupaha, bearing flowers as well as fruits. The Latas are next noticed flowering plants with herbaceous stems, some of them creeping on the ground, Pratanini, other the succulent, Gulmini, others twining or uh, voluble. Mukuta Sushruta says Lataha Pratanavatyaha Gulmin Nischa. Next comes the Aushadhis. Herbo, herbaceous plants bearing fruit with or without flowers and dying or withering away after fructification. Some instances of Kanda Shakha, that is tubers, rhizomes, calms are noticed in example the Palandu, the onion, Lashuna, garlic, etc. Aushadhis, plants that die after fructification, these are cultivated Aushadhis, but their affinities with the next class, that is the grass trinas, are also noted. The trinas, grasses of which a uh, characteristic is the formation of gulmas, it is uh, worthy to know, of note that in the enumeration of grasses, the bamboo is considered as a sort of giant grass. Trineshu dhvajaiva grass plant, the reeds, Naladayaha are also placed among the grasses. Pomath say, including the coconut, day, tarika, and other palms, are classed as tree grasses, probably because, like the grasses, they are endogens characterized by spikes and parallel veins. Trunatrumaha. Amara places parasitical plants among Latas. Vanda Vrikshaga, Vrikshagani, Vrikshagupa, Jeevanti Keshwa, Ketyapi. They climb trees and feed upon them. These are to be distinguished from climbing plants like Guruji, which have separate roots of their own. The name Shifa is ordinarily applied to the rootless and uh, suckers by which the tendrils of various creepers are attached to the soil. Shakha Shikha Avarohaha Syat Shakha Yaha Avalambino Shikha Mula Chakram Gata Lata Mula Durdvam Gata Lata Syat This is Amara Vitta Bhanuji Dikshita's commentary, but the Mukuta uh, note says Tarumula Prabhuti 
ವೃಕ್ಷಾಗ್ರಪರ್ಯಂತ ಗತ ಗುಡುಚ್ಯಾದಿ ಲತಾ ಅಪಿ ಅವರೋಪಃ ದಿ ಗುಡೂಚಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ ಶಿವರುಪ ಪಾಕ ನಿಷ್ಠ ಔಷಧೀಸ್ ಔಷಧೀಸ್ ದ ಡೈ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಮೆಚೂರಿಂಗ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಡ್ರಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟರಿ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಫಿಸಿಯಾಲಜಿ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಬಿಂದು ಟೀಕಾ ಧರ್ಮೋತ್ತರ ದಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕಾಲರ್ ನೋಟಿಸ್ ಅಸ್ ದ ಫಿನಾಮನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ನೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಉದಯನ ನೋಟಿಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಿನಾಮಿನ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಡೆತ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ವೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ ಡ್ರಗ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೇವರಬಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ಫೇವರಬಲ್ ವೃಕ್ಷಾದಯ ಪ್ರತಿನಿಯತ ಹೋಕ್ತವ್ಯಧಿಷ್ಠಿತ ಜೀವನ ಮರಣ ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ಜಾಗರಣ ರೋಗ ಭೇಷಜ ಪ್ರಯೋಗ ಭೋಜಸ ಸಜಾತೀಯ ಸಜಾತೀಯ ಅನುಬಂಧ ಅನುಕೂಲೋಪ ಅನುಕೂಲೋಪಮ ಪ್ರತಿಕೂಲ ಪ್ರತಿಕೂಲಾಪಗಮಾದಿ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧ ಶರೀರವತ್ ಉದಯನ ಇನ್ ಪೃಥ್ವಿ ನಿರೂಪಣ ಜೈನ ರೈಟರ್ ಗುಣರತ್ನ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಕಾಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಆನ್ ಷಟ್ದರ್ಶನ ಸಮುಚ್ಚಯ ಆಫ್ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಎನಿಮರೇಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಫೆನ್ಸಿ ಯೂತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಏಜ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ವಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಟಚ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ ವಿಥರಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಊಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಲಾಸಿರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ organs assimilation of food according to the nature of the soil growth or decay by assimilation of suitable or unsuitable food as prescribed in the science of the diseases of plants and their treatment diseases recovery from diseases or wounds by the application of drugs dryness or the opposite due to the sap which answers the chyle that is rasa in animals and special food favorable to impregnation even the vanaspatis may be made to flower varaha mihiras uh, recipes for the treatments of plant for similar purposes says shankara mishra in the upaskara notes as an additional characteristic of growth of the organs or tissue by natural uh, recuperation after wound or laceration gunaratna gives a list of plants that exhibit the phenomena of sleep and walking he also notices the sensitiveness of uh, to touch of plants like mimosa pudica and that is lajjavati lata which show a manifest reaction in the form of contraction and hindu scriptures teach that plants have a sort of dormant or latent consciousness and are capable of pleasure and pain chakrapani notes in uh, bhanumati that the consciousness of plants is a sort of uh, 
to be fight or darken <coughs> consciousness. Udayana also notes that plants have a <coughs> dormant, unmanifested consciousness, which is extremely dull. Ati Mandanta Sangitaya. Mahabharata adds that plants are sensitive to heat and cold, to the sound of thunder, etc., as well as to odors, both pleasant and unpleasant. Like this, our ancestors have classified the plants into different sections and they were uh, keen observers of the nature and they were curious about the life of plant plants and they have made a made an attempt of uh, keenly studying it If we go back to Vedic times, they have a list of lot of trees. People are Ashwatha, a familiar plant was well known during the Vedic period. The Rigveda refers to the utensils and vessels fashioned out of wood of Ashwatha tree. The berries of Ashwatha constituted food for various birds, say, uh, Rigveda, first mandala, 164th mantra. The banyan tree, Anyagroda, is referred to in Vedas. The Nyagrodha means that which grows down, probably indicating the downward growth of crop roots. The wood of banyan was used for making sacrificial bowls, that is, Jamasa. Some of the other trees that mentioned in Vedas are silk cotton, Rigveda, Khadira, Atharva Veda, Shimshupa, Rigveda, uh, Vibhitika, Rigveda, Shami, Atharva Veda, Plaksha, Atharva Veda, Ikshu, finds a mention as cultivated plant in Atharva Veda and Maitraini Samhita and other texts. And they had, a, they had known a number of flowers and flower bearing plants with which they were familiar during the performance of rituals. In this context, Rigveda refers to Parna or Palasha, also known as Kimshuka during the Vedic time. The flowers of these trees were used for adorning the bridal car, says Rigveda. Two varieties of lotuses, white kundarika and blue pushkara, have been described in Rigveda. The name Pushkarini for lakes perhaps own its origin to harboring blue lotuses. Atharva Veda also mentions the white lily that is Kumuda. So this is explained in detail by Dr. Sundar Rajan in the series of books, History of Science, Philosophy and Culture in Indian Civilization, part volume four and part two, which contains medicine and life sciences in India, edited by B.V. Suprayatma. So, There are descriptions of various parts of plant and identification of various groups of plants in Sanskrit literature, starting from Vedic times. The banyan tree being given the name Yagrodha is clear indication of the crop roots growing downwards. Atharva Veda is perhaps the earliest recorded authority on plant morphology. It presents an account of eight uh, types of uh, growth habits of trees, 
one is Vishakha, spreading branches. Manjari, leaves with long clusters. Sambini, bushy plants. Rastanavati, which expands. Uh, Ekashringa, those with the uh, monopodial growth. Pratanavati, creeping plants. Amshumati, with many stalks. Tandini, plants with knotty points. The Vajasanei Samhita and Taittariya Samhita of Ajurveda mention different parts that go to make a plant, namely Mula root, Tula primary axis, Kanda stem, Valsa twig, Pushpa flower, Kala fruit, Parna leaf, Skandha the crown, Shakha the branch. Panini and Patanjali in their works also mention different parts of the tree like Mula, Skandha, Phala, Palasha, Sprouts, uh, Roots, Trunks, Leaves and Flowers. The root is called Mula, Pada in uh, uh, Amarakosha, which also states that trees are called Padapa that which sucks from its roots. Further, it recognizes the peculiar growth of crop roots and gives two names to designate them. One is Shakha Shipa and Avaroha. Based on their growth, behavior and structure, different types of roots have also been classified in this uh, Osha. Some of these are Shakha Shipa, roots originating from the branches, uh, Krishna Muli, black color root, Shweta Muli, white color root, Bahu Muli, many roots, Tripadi, plant with three main roots, Ashtapadi, plant with uh, eight roots, Sthula Mula, thick root, Sukshma Mula, thin root, Jata Mula, fasciculated root. Amarakosha is a mine of information of plant parts. The following is a list of terms which have been used to describe the parts of plants. That is in Vanaushadhi Varga, it has been a lot of uh, description and explanation of plants can be found. Nala stalk of lotus flower, Mrinala tubular uh, petiole of lotus, uh, Karahata Shiva Kanda rhizome of lotus, uh, be, Kinjilka Kesara androsium, Sambartika and Navadala leaf primordium, Varataka Bijakosha fruit of lotus, Prakulla Utkulla open flower that is completely bloomed flower, Sthanu or Shanku trunk of a tree from which the branches are removed, Shupa dwarf tree. Sala, the main branch of a tree, Shikhara, uh, top of a tree, Shara, Majja, hardwood, Tvak, Valka, Bark. So we can uh, recollect the word Valkala, who are wearing bark garments in, in ancient India. The sages and seers were wearing bark garments. They are called as Valkala and we can uh, recollect the story of Ramayana. When Rama was sent to forest, he was uh, given Valkala. He and uh, Lakshmana were given Valkala, that is the bark garments. They had to live as ascetics in the forest. Vallari, Manjari, cluster of leaves or flowers. Vishtara, Vishtapa, small branches. Sasyam, fruit or grain. Vrinta, Prasava Bandha, petiole. Shalatu, unripe fruit. Vana, ripe dispersed fruit. Sharaka, Jalaka, ovary. Kalika, Koraka. Ovary immediately after uh, fertilization, Guchaka, Stabaka, inflorescence, 
ಮಕರಂದ ಪುಷ್ಪರಸ ನೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಪರಾಗ ಸುಮನೋರಜ ಓಲನ್ ಬಾರ್ಹತ ಹೈಪಾನ್ ಥೋಡಿಯಂ ದಿ ವೃಕ್ಷಾಯುರ್ವೇದ ಆಫ್ ಪರಾಶರ ಡೀಲ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಿವ್ಲಿ ವಿತ್ ಮಾರ್ಫಾಲಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ದಿ ಫ್ಲವರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಪರಾಶರ ದಿ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ವೃಕ್ಷಾಂಗಸ್ ಪತ್ರಾಲೀಸ್ ಪುಷ್ಪ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಹಲಾ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಮೂಲಾ ರೂಟ್ ತ್ವಕ್ ಬಾರ್ ಕಾಂಡ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಶರ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಸ್ವರಸ ಸ್ಯಾಪ್ ನಿರ್ಯಾಸ ಎಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟಕ ಸ್ಪೈನ್ಸ್ ಬೀಜ ಸೀಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರರೋಹ ದ ಶೂಟ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ವೃಕ್ಷಾಯುರ್ವೇದ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ವೃಕ್ಷಾಂಗ ಸೂತ್ರಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಸ್ ಲೀಫ್ ಮಾರ್ಕಾಲಜಿ ಸೊ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀಫ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ದೇ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು they reveal the knowledge relating to variety of shapes colors texture texture smell taste etc of leaves the following uh, the shape of the leaf dirga patra long leaf mandala patra round leaf vishala patra broad leaf color uh, shweta patra white color rakta patra red color neela patra blue color ಸುವರ್ಣ ಪರ್ಣ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಕಲರ್ ಧೂಮ್ರ ಪರ್ಣ ಸ್ಮೋಕ್ ಕಲರ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲೀಫ್ ಮೃದು ಪತ್ರ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಕೋಮಲ ಪತ್ರ ಟೆಂಡರ್ ಲೀಫ್ ಸ್ನಿಗ್ಧ ಪತ್ರ ರಫ್ ಥಿಕ್ ಲೀಫ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ವಾದು ಪತ್ರ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಲೀಫ್ ಆಮ್ಲ ಪತ್ರ ಸವರ್ ಇನ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಕಟು ಪತ್ರ ಬಿಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ತೀಕ್ಷ್ಣ ಪತ್ರ ಹಾಟ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲೀಫ್ ರಂಧ್ರ ಪತ್ರ ಲೀಫ್ ವಿತ್ ಹೋಲ್ಸ್ ವಲ್ಕ ಪಾತ್ರಿ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕಣ್ಮ ಪತ್ರಿ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ಪೈನ್ಸ್ ರೋಮಶ ಪತ್ರಿ ವಿತ್ ಹೇರಿ ಔಟ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಟು ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀಫ್ ಆರ್ ಲೀಫ್ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಏಕಪತ್ರಿಕಾ ಒನ್ ಲೀಫ್ಲೆಟ್ ದ್ವಿಪತ್ರಿಕಾ ಟೂ ಲೀಫ್ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ತ್ರಿಪತ್ರಿಕಾ ತ್ರೀ ಲೀಫ್ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಚತುಷ್ಪತ್ರಿಕಾ ಫೋರ್ ಲೀಫ್ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಪಂಚಪತ್ರಿಕಾ ಫೈವ್ ಲೀಫ್ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಬಹು ಪತ್ರಿಕಾ ಎ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀಫ್ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಡಿಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೋರಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಬೈ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಅಟ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಯಂಗ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕಲಿಕಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೋರಕ just open flower buds are mukula and kudmala while fully open flowers are called vikarcha and sphuta the two basic types of inflorescence have been recognized corresponding to the modern classification manjari stabaka guchaka further subdivisions of inflorescence are uh, srishtini and chatra etc it is obvious that all the basic parts of plants and their technical uh, nuances uh, were studied in great detail as this was a prerequisite for the classification and identification of plants so rigveda has classified the uh, yeah let us have the classification of plants by vedas manu and nomenclature of plants uh rukshay veda parashara etc in these sessions to come thank you for patience clarity